Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm doing a critique on Wolfie the Kitsune. Like I said, I'm not good at certain names. <laughs> I think we can all take a guess on why. And she came to me and she asked like, Hey, could you do a critique on my art? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine with that. So I want to say, I want to start off because I like starting off looking at um, the profile. I don't know why, but it just makes it a little bit easier. Like, I get to know who they are a bit. And so far, she has a lot of things organized. She knows what she's doing. And, yeah. Her prices, I, I say, are pretty good. I guess you could say that. Um, maybe a little bit higher, but that's just, I'm biased because I, I like seeing good art with a little bit of a higher price. I don't know why because I still need to get the commissions <laughs> so let's start off and go to all because that just makes a lot of things so much uh, better and I did see that comment so yeah what I'm gonna say here is line art is very smooth I think she uses MS paint which like I said I do not care if people use MS paint it does not bother me it does not affect my life I've already cannot click in. And I do like the Nepeta. Nepeta. Um, what I would say is try to keep certain things like the same. Like as in if a character has eye color, make sure you incorporate that into your art. Like still have fun with it. But it makes a lot more sense when you stick to the original design, I guess. Um, try and like when you do the shading for like jack and the clothes also do that for like the hat and like maybe the horns and the tail especially like for nepeta since that's key aspects on her but besides all that that's actually pretty good i'm gonna say this now i love memes i love these memes they're so good but <laughs> I get what you're doing because it's like you just want to. Do I recommend that? No, but it's a it's just a meme. That's that's all I have to say. And I understand people will be like, aren't you biased? And I'll be like, some would say yes. I don't really think that because I mean it's just a meme. It's like saying it's just a joke, bruh. It's nothing more than that. And you did credit, which is a good thing. Um I don't and I don't mind that you didn't shade it. I that's if that's what you don't want to do for certain pieces like this, that's fine. Try to make sh go back over the, some of the lines when you do some of the memes so that it looks a lot better. Like, I just noticed this part. I don't know if there's any other. Like, how you add gums. Maybe continue on with the body here. Um, besides that, there's not much. Like I said, it all works really well. Some of the lines are a bit th thicker than others. But besides that. And I know some of your some of her art has been stolen by other people. And hold on for a second. Flip Jake. Okay, back to what we're doing. Sorry. I just love that OT. I love that old old show that was on on Cartoon Network. Like I said, going off topic a little bit. Um, I understand that some of her art has been stolen by some other people, which I'm not getting into because I made previous videos before, which I'll try to link down below just so you guys can see on what's going on. Most of them have been up there, like Grey Blood, which I haven't made a video on. His main account has been deactivated, which is pretty good. It's a good thing. But it still doesn't help that there's other people out there that are still stealing and recoloring her art, which is very bad. But continuing on, I know that sometimes you don't shade certain things. You shade the thing, but you don't shade, 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 sorry, stuttering there for a second. Like the hair or the face, maybe the eyes. I mean, that's just me because I do that. And I don't know if that makes any big of a difference to some people. And I, I know you did credit the artist here because I saw the I saw the piece. And I gotta say, it looks pretty good. Like, I would, like, I, I'm, but like I said, I'm pretty biased when it comes to certain art styles, but I don't know. I kind of like, this style more but i know that you're kind of going for like a cute little look which you have it you got it mastered down pretty well 
Uh, some of the old art, I, I do understand. I'm not going to go all the way back because I'm not one of those. Some of the old art, like maybe this one, you can, you would tr try and like go back over some of the lines just to refine them. I don't know, I kind of like this piece. I don't know, like where is this one from? Like that's my question. Oh, it is from... Man. Oh, I did not know about that. Okay, sorry, I had... I wanted to check that out because I'm like, I feel like I've seen it before because I recognize the style. And thank you again for like crediting. It it just makes me very happy when people do that. Because I, I understand what that's like to not have people credit you. And then it's just like, great, what do I do now? Uh, like I said, going through some of the art, I can tell like at a time you were probably looking for what your art style is or even trying to do other kind of styles. And I understand that. And if, when you're trying to do, like, the whole art style challenge thing, take some looks at other kind of art. Like, how do I say it? Look at the art style from maybe Homestuck or Dexter and try to take certain bits. Because I know it's a whole thing is about trying to make it look like an original. And I know that's tough. Because I understand that feeling where it's just like, I can't get this right. It just doesn't look right. It takes a lot of practice. And soon enough, you'll you'll get there. So far, I do like the art style that you have. Um, some of the arms need to have a bit of a work on. But besides that, most of the characters are pretty good. Try and desaturate some of the colors because they kind of pop out. Like, certain colors just do not work well. Like, try to make it where some of this, like, some colors aren't just white or just this color. It doesn't really look that good. Like, some of it, it hurts your eyes. Like, this really hurts the eyes. Like, even now it hurts my eyes. Ow. Sorry. I don't want to make that sound like I'm bitching or something. I don't want to, I, want to I don't want to come off as that. That's not who I am. But I do like the style. It's really interesting. And when it comes down to doing bases, because I can tell it's a base. You did credit. That's good. Um, when it comes down to bases, what I say, what I recommend is always trying to match the line in the original piece and try to match it up so that it looks good. Sorry about that. And it will make the art stand out almost five times better. Because I've seen other people's art and it's like, yep, that looks good. And like even where some of the, like this, like the, some colors fade into the base. Try and fix that up because it, or I know there's a method like shown on YouTube. I do not know where, where you can copy what you have down before you put hair on and just you can move it right over top and it works well something like that might work i'm trying to fiddle around with it when you want to but yeah not much i can also say about this like i said i do hope your situation with everybody gets better um like i said i really don't have much to say sorry if i sound a little bit biased i just I like seeing good art, and this to me is pretty good art. Like, I do recommend probably doing more art trades or something. And the stamps are just so cool. Do you have flippy? Do you have flippy? Nope, no flippy. Dang it. <laughs> All this is just super cute. And you make, and I noticed something where you don't have white lines. And that is really good. Like, I'm one of those where I'm so picky when it comes to that. Because to me, it's just like, did you take the time to make sure there's no white lines? It doesn't look that professional. But I'm going to end the video guy the video here, guys. If you guys want a critique done by me, leave a comment down below. If you find somebody who deserves a rant or something, I'll check them out and see if they are. I'm not guaranteeing that I will get that there will be a lot of rants. I'm trying to limit on that. But yeah, besides that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and don't do anything stupid. <laughs> See ya.